afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class C motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, I'm about to show you one of the best buys on the internet on a 2007 Fleetwood Jamboree 24D. This is only a 24 foot Class C motorhome. It's a size that anybody can drive and park with ease. Now, uh, just came in, we haven't cleaned it up. You're looking at it just how it was kept. This was a formal a former rental unit it's got 97,000 miles but don't let that scare you folks this thing has got years of life left to it and at this price folks you're buying a 40 plus thousand dollar rv for only 26.9 includes a warranty a 90-day nationwide limited warranty and a major systems check by our certified rv techs for 26.9 for a 2007 Jamboree 24D. Now one thing I'm going to point out, the tires look brand new. We're, I've ordered some wheel simulators to go on this so the wheels are going to look more like this and they're not going to have just a plain Jane white wheels. That's included for the 26.9 of course. Built on a Chevrolet workhorse chassis. It's got the 300 horsepower 6.0 liter Vortec V8. 300 horsepower folks for this little motor home is more than enough power. Got a 5,000 pound hitch on the back. Uh, cab over looks great. You know, the advantage of buying a rental unit like this is I know they've got some more miles on them, but look at the price, so how can you complain about that? And a rental unit, because it's been maintained by a company and not an individual, the service has been performed like it should be. So you're not getting something that needs a lot of work. I mean, they keep these things up. They keep everything functioning on them to keep them out on the road for rentals. So, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, dash air not working, which it does. They keep the oil changed, the transmission serviced, all that stuff, folks, is included with a rental unit. So, and this is a 24 foot, so that's a very hard size to find. You know, any, any Class C under 25 feet sells as fast as I can place them online. 5,000 pound hitch on the back. Of course, you, I'm gonna put a spare tire cover on it. Roof looks great. It's all been serviced like it's supposed to. No delamination on it. Tires look almost brand new. Gonna have the new simulators put on it. Now folks, there is a few little cracking and fading on the stripes. I mean, it is a 10 year old motorhome, folks. You gotta expect that. But other than that, this is a nice clean motorhome. Um, Onan generator what runs great. We're gonna show you that works great. Remember, you get a 90 day nationwide limited warranty. That starts the day you pick it up. That six liter V8's running right now. It's quiet as a mouse. Got the overlapping cap on the uh, on the top there, which is a sign of a well-built Class C. Folks, Fleetwood is the company that practically invented the motor home. You're talking about a, a 60 plus year old company, a 60 year old plus company. They still make the Jamborees today, folks. I mean, this is one of their longest running series. And of course, Fleetwood RV has built more Class C's than any other manufacturer in the industry today. And this is a great little family camper. It's something that, you know, you don't have to have big rig experience to know how to drive it. This is something you can park very easily. It's only a couple of feet longer than your average full-size pickup truck. And if you can drive a full-size truck, you can drive this without any problem. Awning looks great, uh, almost a full side awning, 24D. Let's take a look inside. As we step inside, folks, I mean, we're gonna clean it up after my RV techs check it out. But I'm gonna tell you, they've this company has kept very good care of this uh, little C-Class. Inside, you've got ice cold ducted air, which is running right now, and it's ice cold. The dash air is ice cold. A uh, nice little feature, and I guess I did this because it was a rental. They've got the uh, in-dash touchscreen GPS touchscreen radio too, and it's a DVD player. Uh, 97,937 miles. Folks, we just drove this thing almost 500 miles in. It did great. Uh, steering's good and tight. It's got almost new tires on it. Windshield's perfect. Dash is perfect. Dash air is ice cold. You got a queen bed in the cab over and there's no, I don't see any kind of water stains or leak damage up here in the cab over either folks. Um, 
Of course, you've got a little swivel chair. Not a lot of carpet in here, folks. In fact, there's not any carpet, which I like that. Um, so you can sweep it out and swiffer it out and you're done. You've got a table booth that makes a bed. Glass front cabinetry. Carpeted headliner, again, looks great. And that ducted air does a great job. And what's really neat and what I like about these smaller motor homes is when you're driving down the road compared to a Class A, I've got a 38-foot Class A, so I wouldn't dream of driving down the road with passengers in it without the air conditioner, the roof air, and the generator running because it's the only way to keep it cool. Well, when you get into a small one like this, that dash air is going to keep it pretty comfortable in here. Now, if you get into like 95 degree plus weather, yeah, you're probably going to run the generator, run the roof air, but just for general everyday driving, especially with passengers, you can keep it pretty comfortable with just that dash air and dash heat without having to run the generator. And, you know, of course, generators, they use about half a gallon of gas an hour under a load. So that's just, you know, that's less gas you have to put in it. Um, side kitchen area, stove top, and it's got an oven. It's got a microwave, a stainless steel sink. Countertops look great. Got the refrigerator freezer, the Dometic six cubic foot that looks great, that works great. You've got the corner bed, corner bath design, which is about all you can do in a, in a motor home this small and still have a, uh, a decent sized bathroom and a stationary bed. But that's a full size bed. Overhead storage, you got plenty of duct work in here. You got a privacy curtain right here. You got a privacy curtain on the cab over too. So you can sleep up to six in this little motor home, which is pretty impressive considering you're only talking 24 feet long. That's pretty small in the RV industry for a motor home anyway. Uh, you got a shower, got a skylight. And like I said, because this was a rental unit, they kept the roof serviced. No stains whatsoever, no water marks around the slide out, no soft spots. Uh, wall surround, shower, tub, toilet, little stainless steel bathroom sink, vanity area, all enclosed. And it's got duct in here for your heat and air. Got a little countertop extender right here. This is a neat little motorhome, folks. And, you know, you, you can look at these little Class B motorhomes, these little camper vans. They're only a foot or two smaller than this, but this one right here, because it's wider and taller, this is something that a couple could take a cross-country trip in and not kill each other. Those little bands, folks, they're just too small. I mean, they're easy to drive and park, but so is this little C-Class, and you get double the space in here, and more sleeping capacity, and you get a lot more benefits to one like this over a camper van, and these are just as easy to drive and park. Nothing to it, folks. If you can drive a full-size pickup truck, I promise you, you can drive this motor home without any problems. And I'm going to tell you, folks, for a 2007 model, this is about a 40... If this wasn't a rental unit that had a little bit less mileage, this would be a 39.9 motor home. But it's 26.9 with the warranty. It's got 97,000 miles, folks, which well-maintained mileage. I wouldn't let that scare me to save that kind of money. Look at it like this, folks. Let's just say, and it's probably not going to happen, let's just say you keep this thing three or four years and the motor goes bad. So you got to put a motor in it. You're going to spend six, seven thousand dollars replacing the motor. Even if you take that in consideration, folks, versus spending 40 grand on one locket with half the mileage, even if you put a new motor in it, you're still going to be thousands less than you could have bought one for without, uh, with the lower miles. And chances are an individual is not going to service one as well as a rental company has. So, you know, really a benefit to buy one like this because you look at the amount of money you're saving. 26.9, that's a haggle-free out-the-door price. It includes the 90-day nationwide warranty that can be extended very affordably. Includes a major systems check by our certified RV techs. Let me go more into detail about that, folks. It includes, but not limited to, the generator, we check the roof air, we check the, the refrigerator on gas, electric, we check all your propane, all your plumbing systems for leaks, we check your furnace, we check your awning, we check the running and driving, which we just drove it 500 miles in, obviously that's not an issue. Uh, we check all the drawers and cabinets, we make sure your table makes a bed like it's supposed to, your cab over makes a bed like it's supposed to, we inspect the roof, we see anything up there that needs to be taken care of. 
we're going to do that and much more folks that's just kind of a broad range what we cover and if you want a copy of our inspection report and what we do on a motor home for the price that you pay us for it just contact my non-commissioned salespeople. Be happy to email you a copy or fax you a copy of it. Now, folks, a reminder, these units are not checked out until they're sold. So what will happen is if you decide to purchase this RV, it's going to go into line or go into queue, what we call it, in the back. And I can't tell you because I don't know when you're buying this. Today's May 9th, 2017. Of course, this one's not going to be here long at this price. But at the time you call, uh, the time you purchase it, you know, you, you may have one or two in front of it. You may have zero in front of it. You may have 20 units in front of it. Depends on how many RVs we sell. We sell one to four RVs every single day that we're open. We sell five to 600 used RVs a year because we've got the lowest prices on the internet. So my back is just constantly just one, moving one in and another one out, one in, another one out, like an assembly line when we check these things. And keep in mind, folks, when we check them, if we find anything wrong with it that's on our inspection sheet, we fix it, no matter what it costs. If we have to put a new refrigerator in it, or a new air conditioner, or a generator, we're going to do it, folks, without charging you a dime extra. And that's why our prices are haggle-free. And uh, keep in mind, folks, if you want to know the current lead time to have a used Class C checked out, ready to go before you purchase it, call my non-commissioned salespeople. They'll tell you at the at the time that you call what kind of uh, expected weight you can expect to have. Now, folks, is it exact date? No. We may run into a part we have to order that may be back ordered. That happens a lot. I had to order a jack the other day for one. It was a jack they no longer built, but they had, they could build it for me. It was a four-week lead time to get that single jack. So, of course, stuff like that's out of our control, but we do our best to get these things out as quickly as possible. But please, folks, if you're in a time crunch, you may want to consider taking a discount on the price and taking it as is, as it sets, without any inspection or warranty or walkthrough. But if you've got, you know, a few days to wait or a week or two, whatever how long it is when you buy it, you know, you're, you're very, I strongly encourage you to let my certified RV techs take this thing once it gets, once it gets to that spot in line and they get it in the shop, they're going to spend several hours crawling all over this thing, checking everything. These guys are good, folks. I've got the best service crew I've ever had, I think, in the 49 years we've been in business. We've got one of the best service crews we've ever had with certifications out the yin-yang. So, rest assured, these guys know what they're doing. Of course, we pay them. We pay them for it. But, you know, customers who've been buying from us, when your 49-year-old family RV dealership, one of the largest, oldest, and most successful in the business, your customers expect and deserve the best, and that's what we give you and still keep our prices low. 26.9 with the warranty and inspection. Of course, if you want it as is with no warranty, no checkout, no uh, walkthrough, just call our non-commissioned salespeople. We'll discount the unit, what the inspection and the warranty cost us. But anyway, folks, give us a call. We've been here a long time. Our phone numbers are 423-605-6747. This is a nice little Class C. I don't get many of these small ones in, and they normally sell in a day or two because the smaller the RVs are, the harder they are to find. People just don't get rid of these small ones, and that's what everybody wants. I mean, ideal for a couple. It can sleep six. But if you're wanting something that you can take cross country that's not going to kill you on fuel mileage compared to a Class A, that's small that you can park in most average parking spots, this is a great choice. And you've got plenty of storage in here for your stuff inside and outside. It's a nice unit. It's got years of life left to it if you take care of it. You're going to get that 90-day nationwide limited warranty, so you don't have to worry about inheriting someone else's problems. You're going to get that full inspection. For $26.9 for an 07 Jamboree 24D, folks, that's a that's a heck of a deal. I, I'm going to tell you, look around at what these things bring online, and you're going to see this one's not going to sit around long. Uh, we can help you arrange nationwide delivery. My guys wouldn't hesitate to drive this thing cross-country to deliver it. I mean, it drives and rides that good, so um, we can help you arrange nationwide delivery. If you need financing, that's no problem. We have financing available with approved credit only now. 
Um, you can apply right from our website. If you do that, make sure you put the down payment amount and which unit you're looking at. Keep in mind any long-term financing on RVs. I don't care if you've got an absolutely perfect credit score, as high as you can get, you're still going to have to pay 10% down. Now, if you want to not pay any money down, I can still get you a 60-month, maybe a 72-month loan. But that's about it with no money down. They just These banks have really tightened down on that. Used to, you can get no money down financing. But uh, these banks, so many people are letting their units go back or getting them repossessed that the banks want you to have a pretty significant cash investment in the deal before they finance. In other words, they want you to at least have 10% in it. And um, keep that in mind, folks. And if your credit may not be just absolutely perfect, if you've got some blemishes on your credit, you know, you may have to pay a little bit more down. It just depends. These are considered luxury items like a boat. And they're a little different. They're, they're closer to financing a second home than they are financing a car. So uh, another thing, folks, if you are a veteran or active duty military or the spouse of a veteran or active duty military, I'll give you a tip. Check with the USAA. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get paid for saying this. They offer a great service to the veterans and active duty military community and their families. In other words, folks, let me put it to you this way. If you go through one of our lenders, they're going to want to see tax returns and paycheck stubs and sometimes utility bills, bank statements. They ask for all kinds of crazy stuff, folks. But you can get on USAA.com, apply for an RV loan, and in the time it takes you to go through McDonald's drive through and get a Big Mac, you'll have an answer and how much money you're approved for. It's that easy. Then you call them, tell them where the RV's at you're looking at, how much it is, where it's at, and they'll send a check to the dealer the next day. They'll overnight a check right to the dealer. It's the easiest process I've ever seen, folks. Of course, they'll do that after they email you contracts to sign. I mean, it's, it's so simple. We've actually gotten to where we do two or three deals a week through USAA. They're a great company. And, uh, you know, we love our veterans. We employ veterans here, and we sell a lot of veterans and always offer that. Many of them don't even know that USAA offers RV loans. But anyway, folks, give us a call. We have no commission salespeople, no games, no gimmicks, and most importantly, no extra fees. These other RV dealerships, they don't tell you do you sign on the dotted line and get your checkbook out or sign your loan contracts, but they charge you thousands of dollars in after-sales fees, dock fees, prep fees, freight fees, warranty fees, because most 07s you buy from a dealer doesn't come with a warranty. They charge you for that. We give that to you with a 26.9 price. They charge you for the temporary tag. They charge you for the title fees. It's ridiculous, folks, but they charge you anywhere from 10 to 15% of the asking price in fees. Now, folks, other lot of, now have dealers that haggle prices are becoming a thing of the past now. But the dealers that do haggle prices, folks, I'll give you a, a, another tidbit. Whatever they knock off the price, they're going to add right back to it and then some in extra fees. And all those fees are 100% dealer profit, 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. It's just a scam, folks. It's just a way for them to get you to pay more for the RV by disguising the extra profit as fees. Don't fall victim to it, even when they give you a good song and dance, folks, like they're trained to do. Trust me, I've got 20 plus years of experience in this industry. I've owned about every type of motor home you can think of. You know, and uh, and I'll tell you right now, all those fees are 100% dealer profit and 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. And uh, they rip a lot of people, a lot of people off on that, folks. Also, folks, our financing. Uh, whatever rate we get you approved for is what you pay. Other de dealers are not going to do anything without making profit. If a dealer offers financing, chances are they're getting you approved at a low rate, like 4%, like we can. But then they're charging you 55 6%, 7%, 8%, 8%. See, they get paid. The finance managers at other RV dealerships gets paid commission on how much money they mark the interest rate up. So the more, the higher rate they can get you to pay, the more money they get paid. Uh, causing you to overpay by thousands uh, when you finance an RV through a dealership. And I'll give you a tip, folks. If you currently own an RV and you have a, uh, and you've got it financed and you went through the RV dealership's finance department, 
it would greatly benefit you to check with some of the major banks, check with your local banks and credit unions. Chances are you're paying a lot more interest than you should for your credit. And I've, I've helped people out with that because people have called me and said, hey, I refinanced my RV and saved three, three and a half percent off what the dealership got me approved for. And that's because that dealership marked that interest rate up three, three and a half percent. And that would cost you thousands of dollars over the life of an RV loan in uh, higher payments. So don't fall victim to that, folks. Same thing with what the dealers offer you in, as far as services. Gap insurance for one, that's the biggest rip off in the world, folks. If you buy the unit right, you don't need gap insurance. And dealerships that offer you gap insurance, folks, they're gonna charge you six or seven times what you can call your local auto insurance company and pay for gap insurance through them. Um, I mean, it's literally, they'll charge you $2,000 for something that you can buy for two or $250 at your auto insurance company when you insure the RV. And same thing with these extended warranties and these tire protection packages and interior and exterior protection packages. All that stuff, folks, you can do your little research online. You can buy all those same services yourself, even though most of them aren't worth a flip. But you can get those same services yourself for one-fifth of the price that the dealership quoted you. Because, again, they mark that stuff up so far over dealer cost, it's crazy. But give us a call, folks. We've been doing this for 49 plus years. We're one of the oldest, largest, and most successful independently owned used RV dealerships in the uh, United States today. We've got over 170 used RVs in stock, more than any dealer within a 500 mile radius of us. I've got a little bit of everything. If I don't have it, you probably don't need it. Um, give us a call. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com and you can email us sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Please call ahead before coming down if you're coming any kind of distance because uh, I never delete my YouTube videos. Today's May 9th, 2017. If it's a week from now, this unit's probably going to be sold. Call ahead, make an appointment with one of my non-commissioned salespeople, and they will uh, let you know if the unit's still available. I hate, and I have people that drive down here all the time, two or three hundred miles away, never call, never email, no idea they're coming. I mean, I had a guy here this morning that, that drove uh, 250 miles from South Carolina on one that was a YouTube video that was two years old. And there's a date on every YouTube video when it was shot. So please check that before you call to make sure I still have the unit. Or check my website. That's my most current inventory. And you'll get a better idea what we have on there, parkwayrvcenter.com. But anyway, folks, give us a call. We're here uh, six days a week, closed on Sunday. Open 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, and 9 to 5 on Saturday. That's Eastern Time. Uh, make sure if you come to look, you get here at least two hours before closing every day. Folks, this lot, we have so much inventory. There is no possible way that you can come here and look in 15 or 20 minutes. Give yourself a minimum two hours or more to look at my inventory. I have that much stuff to look at. But thank you for watching my video. If you have any question, call us, email us. No commission salespeople. No games, no gimmicks, just honest savings, warranties on available units like this one. You know, we don't try to get rich on every one we sell. We make our dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. In other words, we're a high volume dealer, so we don't have to make as much per unit to keep our doors open like these other guys do. They would rather sell less and make more per unit where we're the opposite. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.